Virtual bathtub baptisms are growing a church in Glendale, Maryland. This is a picture of one of their virtual baptisms that they've been doing since COVID hit, and they are celebrating the fact that you can do virtual baptisms. In 14 months, they've done 91 virtual baptisms where people can live states away, thousands of miles away, but we want to baptize you. It does look good for the camera. There's a couple of logistical issues, but don't worry. The person baptizing you that's physically present, they don't actually have to believe in Jesus. They don't have to support you in your faith. They just literally have to be there to make sure you're immersed. That's the uh, only requirement, incidentally. And that church that's far away, the pastor's going to smile and going to support you, but don't worry. You don't actually have to get involved or worship or serve. We'll baptize you and kind of leave you to your own devices. This is what televangelism has become in 2022. It's become convenient to have faith at a distance. It's become convenient to celebrate online. But the actual nuts and bolts of faith, not just baptism, that's great, by the way, but teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, growing in faith, gathering together with other Christians, eh, that's not big. We just want you to smile for the camera and find somebody, doesn't even have to be Christian, to make sure that you go all the way under the water. This is the best we can do with technology. It, is that really the best way for Christian faith and formation? Psalm 40. I proclaim righteousness in the great assembly. I do not seal my lips, as you know, O Lord. I do not hide your righteousness in your heart. I speak of your faithfulness and salvation. I do not conceal your love and your truth from the great assembly. The great assembly of Christians physically gathered together. There is a great blessing to being as part of the great assembly, not being isolated in our pockets, self-chosen. And, and that was the point of the article, people choosing to be isolated but still wanting its blessings. Christians for centuries have found that blessing of being together. I get it, you can grow your numbers by doing whatever people want. I, I get it, it can look good on the screen. But Christian faith isn't just flash in the pan, everybody get baptized. Christian faith is hard. It's difficult, it's exhausting, it's painful, it's up and down. It's not just room. The Christian faith that you and I have is to proclaim God's wonders, his grace in the great assembly with other Christians who can support me. Anything else is really robbing myself of the blessings of the Psalms and the blessings of being together.